AI Space Factory, who brought you the visionary Mars habitat design Marsha, is making the dream of living on Mars a reality, layer by layer. In just five weeks, AI Space Factory progressed from isolated tests of our super-strong polymer to an autonomously printed large area slab, our future habitat foundation subsequently validated by NASA. Four weeks later, we successfully printed, in 24 hours, a large cylinder designed to hold 1,200 gallons of water, complete with prefabricated wall penetrations, robotically placed, and sealed on the fly. The design and engineering for Marsha has been updated with lessons learned from our ongoing development of this prototype. We reaffirmed the importance of a robust foundation. Thermoplastics are extruded as hot liquids, which contract as they cool, causing flat, slender objects to warp into concave shapes. In order to keep warping to a minimum, Marsha's foundation will be printed in concentric rings beginning from the outside. In contrast to full area plates, rings would shrink predominantly in plane, leaving predictable joints that can be backfilled without inducing shrinkage in the overall slab. With the anchors in place, a topping slab can be printed as a final seal without the risk of geometric distortion. The tie-down clamps are now located in the interior of the habitat, protecting hardware from the elements and eliminating bending forces in the slab flange. Another design update integrates the sliding bearings and the clamp into a single component, greatly reducing complexity, mass, and streamlining construction. Due to their high mass complexity, Habitat penetrations like windows and hatches will initially be fabricated on Earth, flown to Mars, and integrated into the primary structure, which is 3D printed using local Martian resources. In addition to being designed for thermal performance, air tightness, and radiation shielding, they must integrate perfectly with the printed structure. Marsha's window cross-section is derived from the cupola of the International Space Station, which features four panels of polycarbonate, two to hold internal pressure, and two to protect the pressure panels against impacts and debris. We have modified it with operable louvers in between the redundant pressure and debris panes, magnetically controlled to allow the crew to regulate the light entering the interior for purposes of health and climate control. During construction, elements are placed into precise voids left behind by the printer, Integration consists of depositing a coat of airtight but flexible sealant, placing the elements and holding until the sealant adheres. The keystone-like shape decreases the risk of an imperfect fit by acting as a placement guide, effectively increasing construction tolerances and ensuring a snug, wedge-like fit. An inner flange mechanically holds the elements in place against the force of internal pressure, which becomes fully secured as printing continues. The skylight is mounted atop the finished print and secured using sealant and linear motorized clamps. The habitat is then pressurized in preparation for human occupants. Marsha is located in Cydonia Mense. It sits in the relatively mild north transitional climate zone that has access to year-round sunlight, a measure that promotes psychological well-being and makes solar power viable. At 39 degrees north, it harbors accessible deposits of subsurface ice for conversion to propellant, breathable air, and potable water. The site features concentrated volcanic rock deposits covered only by a thin layer of loose regolith, making them accessible as an in-situ resource. Finally, Cydonia sits at 11 kilometers below mean elevation, which offers higher protection from harmful cosmic radiation due to the greater thickness of the atmosphere overhead. This site provides all the assets required for a safe and sustainable human presence on Mars.